Before we begin, there is one thing you must know. Molly was dead to begin with. There is no doubt about whatsoever about that. Rudolph's burial was signed by the clergyman, the clerk, the undertaker, and the chief warder. Scrooge signed it. And Scrooge's name was as good as his word, or his money. Funny thing he chose to put his hand to, old Molly was dead as a doornail. This must be distinctly understood or nothing wonderful can come from the story. I'm about to relate. Ebenezer Scrooge with a squeezing, wrenching, grasping, scraping, clutching, coveted old sinner. Hard and sharp as flint, that no steel have ever struck out generous fire. In short, Scrooge was a total jerk. Ron, you bousy, no good. Hello? Oh boy. So, Mr. Scrooge, um, so like, hi? Uh, so you couldn't be bothered to come into the office today. It's Christmas Eve. So? So, you said I could work from home. I'm up to date on all the accounts. I balanced the ledger, even done the budget projects for the spring quarter. How do I know if you're working? For all I know, you could be playing with the dog or doing a jigsaw puzzle. Well, you know, because the work wouldn't be getting done, which it is. But you're going to ask me for tomorrow off anyway. Yeah, if it's cool with you. No, it's not cool. It's the opposite of cool. It's hot. Is it cool to pick a man's pocket every December the 25th? Better be early the day after. Yes, sir. I will, sir. Thank you and Merry Christmas. Don't threaten me. Hang up. I have another call. Cool. What's up, dude? What do you want, Fred? I want to wish Merry Christmas. Humbug. I have no idea what that means. It means Christmas stinks. Come on, you don't mean that. I do. This is all the Merry Christmas stuff anyway. How can you be merry or poor enough? How, how can you? How can it be that bad? You're rich enough. Every idiot who goes around with Merry Christmas on his lips should be boiled in his own pudding and bear to the stake of holly through his heart. Whoa, that went dark fast. <laughs> you celebrate Christmas how you want, I'll celebrate the way I want. But you don't celebrate. Exactly. What good does it do? It makes me feel better, man. Peace on earth, go towards men, that's my jam. I mean, it ruins my bank account, but I love you this season, dude. So Merry Christmas. Bah! You're bang again. Don't bat, Uncle Eb. Don't call me that. Uncle Eb? Ebenezer? Eberino? Come have dinner with Brittany and me tomorrow. Who's Brittany? My wife? You can come to the wedding. She's dying to meet you. She is? <laughs> Nah, man, nobody likes you. We're a family. We're all you've got. One meal, man. Come eat one meal with us. No. I'll take that as a maybe. It's a hard pass. I've got a place call. for you. I won't be there. Until tomorrow. Nope. Idiot. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. You've got the wrong number. 
Wait, hi, we're collecting on behalf of the homeless. Are we addressing Mr. Scrooge or Mr. Marley? Marley's been dead seven years. Seven years ago tonight. If you can't do a simple Google search. Then you might want to donate in his name. How cool would that be? Zero percent cool. There are a lot of people in trouble this time of year. People without food, water, or basic shelter. What, prisons are full? No, we have lots of prisons. Some of these people without basic necessities are veterans. And veterans don't belong in prison. Then they should go to the VA. What do my taxes pay for? The VA isn't working the way it's supposed to. Let them figure out themselves. Time to call the herd anyway. You don't need any more freeloaders. Good day. But I said good day. He's like the Megalodon of jokes. And before you ask, yes, he's like this to everybody. Hey there, Chow Chover's here. I brought you dinner delivery. Just leave it on the stoop. I'll be down in a while. Okay, man, but I can wait. Just leave it. Okay, cool. But I think you might have forgotten to leave a tip because there's a uh, no on here. I didn't forget. I can wait. For what? The aforementioned tip. I'm not tipping you to do your job. Thing is, I don't even make minimum wage here. That's not my problem. Tips are how I make a living. You should find another job. But... And a miserable man who was in for a miserable night. What? What do you want? Much. You be a little more cryptic. Who is this? Ask me who I was. 20 questions now. I don't have time. I'm Jacob Marley. Jacob, you're alive. No, I am dead. Then why are you on my phone? You know me in the streets. You forget me in your dreams. This is the only way I can reach you. Is this one of those crank calls? Like, is your refrigerator running or do you have Prince Albert in a can? I am your ex-partner. Prove it. You can see me with your own eyes. Big whoop. See all kinds of things that are a few whiskeys. Or maybe it's something I ate. I'm not buying this whole ghost thing. More likely it's the ghost peppers in my burrito. Changed. All right, don't freak out. Do you believe in me? No. You will. Oh, you will. What's with all the chains? The building doesn't look good on you. This is the chain I forged in life. I made it link by link, yard by yard. I strapped it on of my own free will. Looks like it chafes. Your chain was as long as this one seven years ago, and you've been busy adding to it ever since. Did you come here to insult me? No, I came here to warn you. You do not want to end up like me. You made the cover of Forbes. We ran a Fortune 500 business. Mankind was my business. Profit margin there is really slim. Charity, mercy, kindness was my business, but I threw it all away. I don't want you to make the same mistake. Thanks, but I'm good. You're good? I'm good. You are not good, but you can be yet. You will be tonight. You will be haunted by three spirits. That doesn't work for me. The first will come at one. Tonight. <laughs> I plan to get up early tomorrow. Silence! Man, you're such a jerk! Seriously? 
You will be haunted. The fr- they will try to save your rotten soul. First will come at one. Second at two. Third at three. Gotta go back to back to back. Can't spread these out like every other Thursday. This is your last chance. Heed what they say. Heed? Listen and do. This is your final notice, Ebenezer. Change your ways. You are toast. No lie. Toast. Hello? Anyone? I'm gonna call Verizon in the morning. My phone's got some weird virus. Ghosts! <laughs> Back! Ghosts do not believe in ghosts, but they still believed in him. Add into my contact list. Bluetooth is on and I'm ready to rock. Ebenezer, Ebenezer, wake up, little sweepy head. Come on, little man, it's time. Yo. What? Uh, uh, what, what, what's going on? There he is. Hello. Who are you? You know who I am. You're the one that Jacob was all blah, blah, blah about. I'm the ghost of Christmas past. You're a ghost? In the flesh. I I thought you were coming here. What? Actually, in the flesh? No. Why would I do that? I have no idea. No way, man. I'm not making that commute. This is the digital age. Now, are we ready for a big adventure? Where are we going? Onward. To the past. Is that like a Back to the Future reference? Didn't you just love that movie? And McFly, McFly, classic, Beth. How far back are we going? Like the first Christmas? Because managers really mess up my sinuses. No, silly. You're a past. Once you post something online, it's out there on the cloud forever. You remember this phone call? No. Abby. Man. Merry Christmas, little brother. Is it? It will be, because you're coming home for Christmas. Really? Yeah, Daddy said he, you could. He's so much nicer than he used to be. And maybe if that goes well, then you can stay here, like, forever. And you won't have to go to that boarding school again. Really? I've got your back, boo. Ben? Ben! Ben, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. Wasn't fine. Why is she? She was, um, delicate. Big heart, though. Not big enough. That cough eventually turned into something that killed her. That's a bummer. She had a family of her own? Kids and everything? One. My... Nephew, Fred. I love you, Boo. I love you, Doo Doo. Awesome. Idea. Then why are you all angsty? No reason. Sure there is. No. Tell me. Nothing to tell. Tell me. Okay, I was just thinking about Fred and Christmas dinners that never happened. He's the son of your sister, and you keep pushing him away. Ah, oh, classic little scooge. Oh, hey, you remember this phone call? Oh. Oh. Ebenezer, Rick, why aren't you boys at the office? You said we could work from home today, sir. We're getting a lot of work done. You can't do everything from home. We can, sir. I promise. Can you dance from home? Sir? We're having a party and you're not here. Get your dancing shoes on and get down here. You booked a DJ. Really? Yes, really. It's Christmas. Nebenezer, there's someone here with a gift for you. Daddy, don't embarrass me. Not making any promises. 
So come on, guys. I expect to see you here. You will come, won't you, Ebenezer? Um, yeah, of course. I'll be there too. Thank you. Good. It'll be more fun with you. Fun is my middle name. It used to be Roscoe, but I had it legally changed to Danger. But that didn't work so fun. I'm fun now. I may change it again. The third wheel. Should I go? Do you mind? Just a little. I'll see you there. I have a present for you, Pinky. I have one for you, too. So hurry and get here. <laughs> I've got to go and stop my dad from dancing before he breaks all the furniture. <laughs> <laughs> that Fezziwig knew how to party. Oh, big whoop. He dropped a few coins on a DJ. It's not about the money. He made it fun. He made work fun. That's a gift. That's a skill. Make people love their jobs. You can't put a price on that. What's up with you, little man? Nothing. I've seen nothing face before, and that's a something face. Nah, I just, I wish, I, I would like to talk to my clerk for a second, that's all. Uh-huh, go well, onward, my time is running out. Hello? Hello, Pinky. Hey, Bad, I'm about to jump onto another call. Can this wait? I think we've waited long enough. I can up this order in, a, in like an hour. I'm saying goodbye, Pinky. Okay, bye. Talk to you later. No, you won't. I don't understand. This is goodbye. Now? We want to do this now? I've been prepping this meeting for months. Then you should take it. I won't hold you back. Not anymore. I just need an hour. No, you don't. An hour, a month. A year, it won't change. Why are you doing this? Because I want to be your first love. Yeah. I was, was once upon a, but I can't compete with Benjamin Franklin. Are you kidding me? I'm doing this for us so we can have a future. Poverty stinks. What, what I'm the bad guy because I don't want to be poor? No, because you're scared. I've seen all your hopes of making a better world die, slaughtered by your hopes of making money. I've never so asked to be I'm let go. Not, not with words, but in every other way you have. I hope you're happy in the life you've chosen. Bad, bad! Well, that was dumb. Who was stupid and ruined their life, huh? Looted? Enough. Not yet. We brought one more. No. Hey, you're not the boss around here. We've got one more. Hello? Hi, baby. It's me. I'm on my way home. I'm going to stop at the market. You need anything? You home safely? You got it, big boy. Oh, and guess who I saw today? Was it Santa Claus? Because we've had this conversation. Pinky. Ebenezer? Really? Yeah, I was walking by his office. His partner, Marley, is in the hospital on life support. He just sat there in the dark, all alone. He's not alone. He's got millions of friends. All named Benjamin Franklin. <laughs> Get home soon. I'm barbecue. Love you. I've never loved anyone the way I love you. Ouch. That's got to leave a mark. Why are you torturing me? Torture? Oh, little man, I'm trying to help. I'm done. You and I are done. We are done, but you are just getting started. Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone and know me better, man. Are you the second spirit? Second, I like to think I'm number one. I'm number one. <laughs> and you are? Ghost Christmas present. Christmas present. <laughs> I cracked myself up. And what are you doing here? 
I'm here to show you the how the world celebrates the glory of the season. I don't see glory. That's because you don't see. I see people going into debt because Hasbro tells them they have to put gifts under the tree. I see suicide wait uh, it's spike. People on the streets afraid and alone. Man, you're dark. You gotta get out of your bubble. Dude, people with bigger problems than you know how to celebrate. Peter, put the phone down. I'm making a movie, Mom. In a world where Christmas Eve means a family together. One family is still apart. They're not apart, Peter. Martha's coming home and Dad and Tim are, are on their way. But will they make it? What dangers look beyond these doors? Peter, movie later, help now. Something evil is lurking behind this door. Holy moly! Martha, you made it. I come bearing gifts. Christmas feast. Where's Dad? He's stopped at the church with Tim. They're on their way home. Oh, this is him calling now. Martha, hide! What? No! Come on, it'll be fun. Hey, hey Dad, I'm making a movie. That's awesome, Pete. What genre? I don't know if it's a horror flick or a season of comedy. Comedy. Always go comedy. Is Martha there yet? She's not coming this year, Dad. She's she's celebrating Christmas with her friends from school. Coming? I'm here, Dad. Pete's just being a twerp. I'm directing an epic flick. Martha, you made it. Can I just say how happy that makes me? The whole family together for Christmas? Where are you? We're on our way. Tim, have you been behaving for your dad? No, I am menace to society. Nah, he's been as good as gold. Can I tell them what you said? Dad! He said he hoped people at church could see him on his crutch. It might be nice for them to be reminded to cure the sick and made the lame walk. Aww. Um, that's lovely. That's my superpower name, Clutch Kid. Dunn is crippled? First of all, we don't like that word. Second of all, how can you not know that? He's your employee. There's a lot he doesn't know about me either. We'll be home soon. Just want to stop and get a Christmas card from Mr. Scrooge. Ooh, I want to burn. <laughs> no, you're not spending your hard-earned money on that old miser. <gasps> Emily, he's the funder of the feast. Funder of the feast? Are you kidding? He's so cheap. If you poison him, he wouldn't die until he got the deposit back on the bottle. Emily, you can you can call him right now. He'll, he'll be, he's so cheap, he won't even pay attention. Ah, uh, classic. Em and the children. Fine, I'll wish him good health for your sake, Bob, but not for his. Then I'm sure God will bless us this Christmas. God bless us, everyone. Hurry home, Dad. On our way. <laughs> Man, I don't want to party with that family. What's up with the kid? Tiny Tim? Is that his name? You don't even know his name? Wow. What's wrong with him? It's got a fancy Latin name, but basically it's a genetic disorder. It's going to be okay, right? I see a vacant chair and a crutch without an owner. It doesn't change his little hope. He's going to die? So what? It's time to call the herd anyway, right? Get rid of those freeloaders. That's not... Fair. I didn't mean it should be someone I know. That's the thing, though. Everybody is somebody someone he knows. Stay with me now. We have another stop.
You know these people? That's my nephew, Fred. I don't know who those other people are. You don't know his wife, their best friend? Hey, I've been busy. We miss you, Anna. We wish you could be here in person. Miss you, too. Oh, so, let's play charades. <laughs> oh, I love charades. <laughs> Ooh, I got one. Grumpy. Crabby? Mean. Mean? <laughs> mean, it's mean. I said mean first. Holding? Squeezing? Uh, pinching a penny. Penny pinching. <laughs> Woohoo! I said penny pinching. I said it. You, you heard me. I'm watching. Ache. Tennis elbow. Tight fisted. Tight fisted. Yes! I'm really good at this game. This is fun. Washing your back. In a shower? Wait, backstabbing? This is a toughie. Backstabbing, penny pinching, tight fisted, mean old. I got it! <laughs> it's your Uncle Scrooge! <laughs> yes! That's what they think of me. I'm glad I never went to his house. Wait for it. I thought you said old Scrooge was going to be there this year. I invited him, just like every year. But he never comes. I don't know why you keep asking. Because he's family. He doesn't care. He doesn't even like you. I love him because he's family, so I'll ask him every year whether he comes or not. And his misery is his own choice. I feel sorry for him. Sorry? For that creepy old man who never lent you a dime? Yeah, man, he's sitting on a mountain of doubloons. He's rich, like crazy rich. But is he happy? No. So I'll go every year with a smile on my face and hope that smile is contagious. My mom would have wanted it that way. All right, whose turn is it? Fred still loves you, even though you've done nothing for him. You, your sister must have been an amazing woman. I have no idea. I want to show you all the celebrations of the world, but my time is short. This is where we say goodbye. No, Spirit, wait. Time waits for no one. But there's a bunch of stuff I want to do. Then do it. If not now, then when? Oh, wait, wait. It was getting late. Much, much later than Scrooge realized. Hello? Guessing you're the ghost of Christmas future? And you're going to show me what will happen next. I've got to say, uh, silence scares me more than any other spirit I've seen, but eat on. Are you okay? Yeah, yes, sure, yes. Yeah. I'm spending too much time on my tablet. My eyes hurt. Sure. I don't want your father to see me like this. When he gets home. Where is he? I'm gonna call him. He walks a little slower now. He used to run with Tim on his shoulders. Hello? Hey, babe. Are you still there? 
Yeah, I'm just going to spend a few more minutes, if that's okay. Of course. I wish you could have seen how gr green it is here. It's so peaceful. He would have loved this place. My boy. My good, sweet boy. Who died? Was it Tiny Tim? He died? Why didn't they take him to a doctor? There has to be specialists. All right. Now you're going to blame me for not providing a company health plan. That's not up to me. I play a living wage. It's up to them. I'm, I'm going to spend it. They should have bought their own health insurance. It's not my fault. It's not on me. Why didn't somebody do something? Somebody should have done something. Here's something. The celebration going on. A big party in the streets. People are actually dancing. What's what's going on? Thank you, Charlie. Now. What is this? What does this mean? Why are you showing me this? Thanks for the weather update, Charlie. Now, this just in. Breaking news. Ebenezer Scrooge, one of the wealthiest men in the country, was found dead in his home early this morning. You can hear our cruise reaction, which seems to be mirrored all across the land today. People are celebrating with impromptu bonfires, burning their mortgages. From all of us here at CBT, we'd love to say we miss you, Ebenezer, but we report only the truth. They're celebrating my death, and no one will miss me. Spirit, you've got to tell me, is this what's going to happen, or, or what could happen? Come on, man, throw me a bone here. I need to know, please. What happens to me? Ah! Come on, come on, come on. 911, what is the nature of your emergency? What day is it? Sir, this line is for emergencies. What day is it? It's Christmas. It's Christmas morning. They did it. In one night, they did it. Oh, spirits, I will live in the past, present, and future. Mrs. Gold, Goldstein's Butcher Shop, how can I help you? Hi, do you still have the uh, ice turkey in the window? The 38 pounder? Yes, that's the one. Yeah, we got it. Great, I'll take it. And I'll give you an extra hundred dollars if you can deliver it. Two hundred if you can get it there within the hour. Absolutely. Happy as a schoolboy, giddy as a drunken sailor. I know what to do. Are you kidding me? Are this you... Is... Hello? This is Cratchit, I presume. I'm Ebony... Is a screw... I know who you are. What do you want? I want to have a word with your husband. He's busy. It's Christmas. Please get him here for me. No. Believe me, you want to, uh, him to talk to me today. I hope you keep it short. Bob. Mr. Scrooge? Why aren't you at work, Bob? It's Christmas. And you know how I feel about Christmas. 
Yes, sir. I've had it with you, Bob. With your endless loyalty, your exemplary work ethic, and your family values. You know what I'm going to do with you, Bob. I can guess. Hold on, I'm putting you on speaker. Phone, this affects the whole family anyways. Yes, it does affect the whole family. I am going to double your salary. No, wait. I'll triple it. I'm... I'm sorry, sir. This must be a bad connection. You heard me, Bob. I'm going to triple your salary. It's a long past due. I don't understand. You married a gem, Mrs. Cratchit. Wow. That must be Tiny Tim. Yeah, but I before just Tim. Fair enough, just Tim. Have you ever been to New York? No, sir. Want to go? I don't understand. There's a hospital in New York that specializes in genetic disorders. You and your our mother should pay them a visit. I'll arrange everything next week. Sorry your father can't go, but I'm going to need him at the office. We've got some big changes coming. Sir, I'm confused. I've seen the light, Bob, and I promise I will keep Christmas in my heart every day of the year. Mr. Scrooge, I don't know what to say. You must join us for dinner. I would love that, but I think I'm going to spend the day with my nephew. Mr. Scrooge? It's a good world, Bob. A good world. Well, bless you, Mr. Scrooge. No, bless you, Bob. And hey, just him. You want to take this one? God bless us. Everyone.
have a good one. Thanks, and have a happy Christmas, everybody. And Bye, everybody. Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy holidays. Bye. Bye.